Okay, so for doorway pails and rails, it's essentially the doorway pec stretch. You can do one arm at a time. You can do two if you have the right setup. I, I'm a little short here. Um, so you're gonna put your elbow up on a doorway or a squat rack. Um, have the elbow be straight out from the shoulder, if not slightly lower than your shoulder. Ideally, as a normal setup, you can obviously play with that. Um, but I would start here. And then what you're gonna try to do is keep the chest in the same plane, so no rotating as you sort of step forward until you feel stretching in these tissues here. Sorry, microphone. Um, so you're gonna hold the stretch for one to three minutes, and then you're gonna do pails and rails. And so pails is contracting the length and tissues by resisting the stretch. So you're going to ramp up that full body contraction, squeezing your legs, your core, your fists, your face, and you're gonna push that arm into the rack like you're trying to push the rack forward. Um, not just the hand, not just the elbow, it's not rotation, it's just a straightforward push. So as we're pushing forward, you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds, then you're gonna slowly ramp the contraction down and then go into rails, which is contracting the shortened tissues, uh, the back of the shoulder, or trying to pull yourself deeper into the stretch. So you're gonna use that back muscle and shoulder muscles to pull yourself deeper. Um, if you can lift off, you're not deep enough. So you wanna be far enough forward that you're not quite able to lift off, just barely there. Um, and then hold the stretch for another one to three minutes. If you're doing this as a strength training superset, you're gonna get into the position, get comfortable for about 10 seconds, and then just do the pails contraction. So you're pushing forward um, and it is just loading that uh, length and tissue by resisting the stretch. 10 seconds and then hop on out of that. And then you could do some shoulder capsule cars to follow up. 